Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my shop. I've had a lot of people in the past ask me exactly how long it takes to make a pen. I can give you estimates all day long, but I don't really know a, a good, accurate number. So this morning, I'm going to start making some pens, and I'm going to record it, show you the exact process it takes to make these pens, and then we'll come up with a time frame at the end of it. But I'm going to make four pens. It's normally easier to make several at one time because you do all the cuts, all the drilling, and then do the turning and finishing. So let's get started. Okay, here's my pen kits and the supplies needed to, to drill and, and turn these pens. I have these kits I got from Wood Turnings. I like this style of pen. Uh, it's a good quality fairly easy to make I've made some that are have the different clips for the different uh, stuff on them it's the same pen you can use for the commander voyager scuba pi pirate train and golfer rollerball and fountain pen kits so it's a pretty common kit uh, the only differences is the band the cap and the pocket clip I'm going to make them out of the red bud, spalted oak, sycamore, and desert iron. Now, from the looks of the last video, you can see my fingers are in here pretty close to that blade. So, if this is the way you decide to do it, be extremely careful because that blade has no conscience and it will take your finger off in a heartbeat. The next process I have here is the drilling out. I have all my... I have my cap set up here that are going to go with the 12 and a half and then I have my bases here that are going to go with the 10 and a half and I also have my v-blocks and they are just homemade v-blocks and this is the easiest way I found to do it and if you get outside of your for some reason your hole gets off center and you get outside of your actual blank then all it's going to do is tear up the v-blocks all right let's get started drilling
Now, in order to run these barrel trimmers, these sleeves are a little bit longer than the actual piece itself, and the drill bit's longer than the sleeve. So you have to get you a block of wood that that'll fit loosely down into at least a half inch. That way when you bring it down, it's down inside there and you can trim up the end of it. And we'll run that through all eight of these. Okay, I got my pin on the lathe, ready to turn. If you notice, I have them just like it was written when I cut them in two. And you always want to do it this way. Mark it in the middle. That way you know where your, your grain is going to meet in the middle. You can match it up whenever you put your pin together. Took off my other bushings, put my Teflon on. When I start it back up, I got some denatured alcohol. I'm going to spray it down with denatured alcohol and wipe it. You need to clean all the oils and any of the fine dust out of the grain before you put this super glue finish on there. Or else you may end up with that inside your finish and it won't look good or if you got a lot of oil in your wood say if you're using the desert iron wood or a cypress wood or 
something that hasn't been stabilized real well, then you'll pull that out and it won't stick too well. And when we stick on the super glue, I use this CA medium by Stick Fast and the activator. Now I'm gonna caution you, this has worked real well for me, but if you use some of the cheaper stuff that you can buy in bulk and some of the thicker stuff for this finish, it may not adhere as well. I've had instances in the past where I used some cheaper stuff during COVID when I couldn't get this and it ended up cracking on me about a year later all throughout there. So I had to take my less expensive pins and I use them for giveaways. My more expensive pin kits, I end up taking them apart, cutting it off, refinishing it and putting on the right super glue. So I recommend you do your studies. Like I say, I like this stick fast CA medium. Uh, once you put it on there, though, it's there. The only way you're going to get it back off is stick it back on a lathe and cut it back off and re refinish it. Okay, we got it all turned. We got the polish on. Got it off the lathe. We'll take and clean up the ends. Make sure they're good. On both pieces, be sure and keep them lined up. they will look like that get the grain lined up so first put this in the bottom of the cap and once that's in the bottom of the cap then we got Piece there. We'll line up our grain. It'll be similar to that. And seeing as they're two different sizes, it isn't going to line up perfectly. But we want to get it close. That way it looks good when it's all put together. Put that in there. If my arm gets in the way, I have to apologize. I'm not used to working around putting this stuff together. There we go. Unscrew the base. Put this side in. Put 
that back on. I want to drop this for the taper down, your spring. Get your ink cartridge in. There you go. Sometimes you gotta hold your mouth just right. Then we get the golf ball cap and the golf man swinging on the front. There you go. It will turn on. There it is. So that is the golf pin. Now you know how to make a pin. I'm gonna make the other, go ahead and finish the other three. And then show you what the three other woods look like. See you then. Okay guys, I'm back in my shed, got all the pins made. Look at this grain. This is a sycamore. This is the first one I did that y'all watched me do. This is a red bud. This is your desert iron wood. I really love working with that desert iron wood. And this is a spalted oak. Uh, spalted pin oak to be exact, but it's spalted oak. All right, guys, I started this video to basically show everybody how these little uh, golf pins are made and to try and record the time to see exactly how long it takes to make a pin. I'm asked many times, how long does it take? Well, until I figured it out this time, I, I had guesstimates, but I didn't really know. So, with making these, making them all four at one time like I did, it runs about 35 minutes a pin. And that's if everything goes as planned. At times, stuff don't go as planned, though. You have uh, broken pin blanks when you drill. You can break them, and they'll split and throw off when you're turning. Uh, you have finishes that mess up, and you got to refinish them. And all that kind of stuff adds time. You know, even the small stuff, like the small details of adding glue in a knot, will cause you to take up more time. So, uh, you know, 35 minutes is a good estimate if everything goes correctly, and it could take up to an hour. It just depends on the wood you're working with. Please click the like and subscribe buttons below and leave any comments or any questions down below and I'll answer them as soon as I get them. I'll see y'all in the next video.